guys, what's up? It's I Jevin. How is everybody doing? I'm back with another episode on the Hermitcraft mods all server. I know it's been a while, guys, but it's all good. We're on episode, I want to say, 11 today. Uh, last time we left off, we were testing the inscriber. Today, we're actually going to be building our base, our new base. We got a little gift here. Jevin, thank you for the late night streams that send me to sleep. LOL. Uh, enjoy the English breakfast tea on us, Biffa and his stream viewers. Thank you very much, Biffa. I will keep that for a later time, and it will be delicious, and I will drink it. So, what am I going to build for our base? Well, I thought about it for a while, and I, uh, I think I came up with the perfect solution, actually. Oh, I'm like, how did I just get hit? There's a skeleton down there. That freaked me out, man. Here, let me grab some cobblestone. Looks like our quarry finished, which is good. He's got pretty good aim. Suck it, skeleton. There we go. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's go ahead. Um, I gathered a bunch of pink dye but apparently it's not in our system what did i do with it did i did i lose it flower maybe i did lose it what the heck all right sorry about the delay i have got my pink wool now and we're going to need our mortar let's grab that <clears throat> actually i need to do the feathers first or petals i should say Okay, so we've turned that into pink dye. Wool. I need to turn this into pink wool. And if you guys don't know this, you can actually uh, do it like this because uh, it's kind of like the clay recipe, sort of. Now, I want to make this right here. So we need to put this right here. We're making pink air balloons. And we'll need string. All right, we don't have any string, but that's fine. Um, that should get us started. Let me grab two more stacks while that runs. I'll put that in there. Okay, so we'll put this here. This here. All right, so that is a start. Okay. You guys are going to think I'm probably crazy for building this, but it's all good. We need to go up, I would say, about right there should be good. I just need to get a starting point. Let me put it, like, right there. All right, let me grab a pickaxe so I can remove that cobblestone. Do I have a pickaxe? I uh, Probably not. <laughs> Dude, I have lost so much stuff on the server just to dying. Um, okay. Let me get rid of the cobblestone real fast. So I need you guys to name this thing for me. And you'll see what I'm building when I'm finished, but until then, you can't see. Um, okay, so we'll start off. Let's start off with the bottom, I think. Um, which direction? I guess I would have more direction if I went that way. Yeah, all right. So this will be the front foot. So we're going to go four over, four up, four back. You guys should know what I'm building by now. If you don't know what I'm building by now, I'm building a giant pig. Because why not? So let's make this eight tall. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to come over. I might actually want to go up one more block. Uh, there we go. Two, three, four. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to leave like a two space in between that. Let's come down. I'm going to fill all this in. I want to build the frame of the pig first. We're not going to fill the thing in completely. Like so. That'll give us room to make the feet. Like that. Those will come up, obviously. Okay, so there is the pig's, um, I guess we could call that the, the front feet. Now, um, let's go ahead and continue this over. 
to there. Good thing that string is running. We should probably go change that string out. Let me go make a couple more air balloon blocks. We're probably going to need more, considering we've already went to 52. Okay. Good thing we have, like, infinite wool, though. Alright, it's a little bit more. There we go. Awesome. Okay, so we've got the area defined. Now, um, we need to make his belly. Okay, um... So, hmm. Actually, the way that I have this set up, this needs to go down one block. Um, that should be eight where we're putting the feet now. And I'm doing that because I want his body to sit on the feet. That's how the pig to actually looks. Um, the feet are offset a little bit, but I'm not going to do the offset. I want them to be sort of even. Get rid of that. We can keep that. That needs to sit there. So that'll come f over like that. So we need to go down. Making all the piggies. There we go. We keep the front there. Just need to get... I guess we could technically kind of keep all of this. But for the build, I want to... Uh, there we go. So, this needs to go back the four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. That should work. That's probably a pretty good size. Yeah, that'll be perfect, actually. Alright, so we need to come down to the same level. Which is... Ooh, there we go. And so we're just going to build the second set of legs here. Four by four. And then this can come over this way. Because remember, this is just going to sit on top of it. Go out. Actually, it can probably just you know come straight down. So this is the pig's like uh, legs and belly. Two, three, four. There we go. Alright, so let me go ahead and get this all filled in real fast and I'll be right back. I think I am going to have to move the feet though. Uh, where did he go? There was just a pig here. Maybe this guy. Look at his, uh, look at his back feet and his front feet. They're one block back. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to go ahead and do that then. So we'll scoot those all one back and then we're going to start building the head. Had to get more dye. I'm uh, just looking for the pink dye stuff right here. But um, I think I want to go ahead and scoot the head and stuff back. But all right, let's head back. Um, we can do that in a minute. That's not hard. Um, let me get. I have a model over here that I've been looking at to build this thing. I can't, I just keep running out of dye. That's all. It's uh, it's actually a lot of dye. Um, mortar. We need to break that down into petals. Go here. There we go. And once again, we just need to turn this into pink dye or pink wool. Put that all up there. Clear. And there we go. All right, that's a little bit more. That that's enough to probably get the head done. Uh, I'll probably actually use this as the head side. So just imagine that this is basically not here. All the way across there. Let's <laughs> the one back. So the head itself um, comes back. I want to say it's two blocks. Like right here. And it goes up. I um, can't tell if that's two. Yeah, that's two blocks. Okay. And so it comes out what looks like six blocks two three four five six that looks a little short hmm maybe I'll go up three I'm trying to count because it's like hard to count wool on a picture one two three four five six seven eight it looks like it's eight high though all right let's um let's go down eight two three four five six seven eight 
Now, how high does that leave us on the foot or on the body? Um, oh, that's why it looks so weird. I'm doing it wrong. I forgot to build the rest of the frame of the body. I was building the head and the feet. This needs to go up like eight blocks. Give me a couple seconds to remove that and I'll be right back. All right, so I've got the actual body built now. And that is much better. That is so much better. I think the legs are one high, one too high though. Three, four, one, two, three, four. No, that's right. Uh, this doesn't look eight high though. One, two, three, four, one, two. Yeah, maybe that's all correct then. Okay. I'm just trying to make sure that this thing is like as close to scale as possible. All right, so let's go ahead and build the head frame now. So it looks like I said, it looks like it goes back uh, two pieces of like block. It goes up two and then comes out eight. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then comes down eight. And two. Uh, this needs to be over though. It's only one block off the side. Like that. That's better. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me get rid of you. Okay. And then it just comes like uh, flat back in. But I'm not doing good with the whole placing these down. It's kind of hard to place them while you're flying though. I'll be honest with you. There we go. And so for the rest of the head, we just need to fill the square out. Um, I'm going to do it. Just a bone square here. I want to get rid of these blocks. Because I want to see... I want to make sure that this looks right from the start. Oh, that's the wrong block. There we go. Got to get rid of you. I'm not sure it's a faster way to remove these. Shears are pretty fast, but it's all just about the same speed almost. Okay. So just like that, and then comes basically to the same spot over here and meets up. There we go. And there. And here. There we go. There is our pig. That looks like a pig, too. It's got the pig shape. The head might be a little off, but it's all good. Um, let me actually count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's it's eight by eight. It's all eight by eight. It all lines up perfectly. Okay. So now I've just got to fill it in and, like, make the pig face and stuff, which is going to take me a little bit of time because that's a lot of air balloon. Okay, guys. So I have built most of the pig. Um, as you can see, we've got his head to do still, but the pig is finished for the most part. Now, I, uh, I want to test something here. I want to grab... Hello. Hey. Hey, guys. Alright, um, saw... Let's saw up a couple blocks here. Let's, let's, you know what, let's just do cobblestone. That'll work perfect. Then we'll cut them down again. Okay, so I can't cut those down anymore. Four will do just fine. Alright, so this will be our first test with this guy. Let me pick this up. I'm not even going to move it. I'm literally just going to set it here. I want to see how this reacts because if we can if we can do this and then put stuff on the inside of it and make it look different that would be awesome <clears throat> um assemble ship okay so where i say we should be at like 99 percent and crap I just want to see if these stick. Like, if we move this thing, is this going to move with us? Um, let's say it didn't didn't change anything. Uh, can I move, please? 
Okay, so this thing can fly, but those things are now gone. Interesting. Okay. Disassemble. And now they've completely disappeared. Wow, where did they go? <laughs> they just completely disappeared. Um... Okay, okay then. I guess I can't use those on there. I was going to use that for the inside because this is, inside is going to be where we're putting all our stuff at. <laughs> Never mind then, I guess. All right, guys. I am back. I went ahead and dug him out. And I decided to leave it all kind of empty in here. We can shape this more later. Now we get to make his face. Ooh, awesome. <laughs> okay, Um. so... First thing that we need to do is go right here. Um, on the edges, it's dark. I'm going to use gray. Obviously, he's going to look more like a bandit than a piggy. Grab the white air balloon blocks. So there's his face. And then I have 40. Okay, that might be enough. Um, I'm going to put that there for now. We need to make his oinker nose. Just like so. Crap, one too far. Okay. One. There. The only problem is, I'm not sure what the nose looks like. There was a pig over here. Let's go try to find this pig real fast because I want to look at his face. <clears throat> pig. I want to look at your face. Here we go. Do you have any color? You have a little color. It's more or less this pink and then a little bit of dark pink. Okay, yeah, we can definitely make that work. I might change those out for black, though. That's already like a black air balloon, though. Okay. Holy crap! It's pretty dangerous in there, I gotta say. Um, so I think what I'll do, so I'll go there, and I'll go there, and then I'll go there. We have a lot of work before this thing can actually fly, though. And there and there. Does that look good? That doesn't look good. Did I do it backwards or something? Mr. Piggy, come here. There's tons of mobs in there, man. That's kind of sketch, bro. What's your face look like? Well, to be fair, I mean, that that does sort of look like his nose. All right. I guess I guess Mr. Piggy's face is done, besides the, the mobs. We'll have to get rid of the mobs. They can't get through, though. So we're good on that front. Let me pick this up real fast. Hopefully I have... I think I'm just going to fill in around it. Like so. We still need to make like a, a captain's quarters and stuff as well. We'll see how this looks though. You know what? That that looks like a pig. I'm not going to lie to you. Alright guys, so here's where you come in. I need a name for this pig. <laughs> and I need... I'm going to name it after one of you. Whatever your comment is. So leave a comment down below and let me know what I should name the piggy. Uh, that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys all enjoyed the pig build. I know I did. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys all have a good one. This is iJevin. Peace out. Three, two, one. All right, guys. I am back. I'm going to head to the out. And I decided to leave